Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette. Man, I really need to figure out how to do intros. Anyways, today we're going to be doing a get ready with me chatty video. I thought it would be really interesting to do get ready with me's um, at least like once a month and do my makeup with you guys, get ready, and then talk about something like a topic. So today's topic is body confidence. Before we get into the video, I would ask if you would subscribe so you don't miss when I upload a video. If you like any part of this video, please give me a thumbs up. I have you in really close so you can like see what I'm doing with my makeup. I thought that would be helpful. But I think instead of like going through and saying like this is the product that I'm using as I'm using it, I'm just kind of kind of like lay it out at the beginning. So then I don't have to explain as I'm going through. So hopefully that is helpful. I'll also list every product that I'm using on my face down below in the description bar. So you uh, are aware of what your girl is using on her face this morning. The number one beauty tool that I'm using is the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, I think is what it's called. And you can get two of these in a pack for like eight bucks, six or seven dollars, I think. Maybe six to eight dollars, depending on where you go. And then all the brushes that I use are also real techniques. I mean, they're very affordable, but they do a really good job on doing your makeup. So today's face is just gonna be like an everyday face that I do. It's gonna be pretty simple. It's nothing crazy. I use the Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I like this one a lot. And then I also use the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen as a primer as well, and it works really well for my skin. I don't have an issue with it. Um, and then going on to the base, I use the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in shade Walnut. It's actually not my shade. I've gotten a lot lighter since um, buying this. And so it's not really my shade, but it works for me really well. And so I don't mind it. It's, it's just a little bit too orange and I prefer to be, I'm a little bit more neutral. I'm not super warm, I'm, I'm more so neutral, a little bit more cool. And then I use two concealers. I have the Urban Decay Weightless Complexion Coverage Concealer, and it's in the shade Dark Golden. And it matches my skin pretty well. I like this one. And then this one is more so of a highlighter concealer. Um, it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Walnut. And then from there, I have a translucent powder, and then I go in with my bronzer contour thing, and it's the Lancome Dual Finish Foundation Powder, but I use it in 560 Suede C, so I use it to just bronze slash contour. And then for my blush, I use MAC uh, Mineralized Blush and Lovejoy. And I really like it. It's pretty matte and it's very complimenting on my skin. I also use it on my eyes as well. And then I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlight in Topaz. And then for my brows, I saw that Kat Von D came out with the Signature Brow Precision Pencil. And so I got it in Graphite and it works really great. I like how stiff the spoolie is. The pencil's pretty like, it's not like a rounded tip. It's a, it's pretty flat in how it is in the in the shape of it, and I kind of like that. So I've definitely been liking this. It's I think around the same price point as the Benefit Precisely My Brow, but could be wrong. And then the Hourglass Brow Gel <laughs> thing came off, so I can't I can't really tell you exactly what it is. But I got it in Dark Brunette. I might do a cat eye. Um, I use the Kat Von D. It's definitely all gone. <laughs> I think it's a tattoo liner. Yeah, it's a tattoo liner in black. Works really great. Felt tip pen. Love it. And then my favorite mascara of all time is the Lancome Grandiose Mascara. And it has like this angle. And it's like a plastic applicator. And if I'm looking to the side, it's because I'm making sure that I'm in focus. <laughs> um, it has a plastic applicator, but I get the most volume. Every time I wear it, um, everyone's like, do you have falsies on? No, girl, I don't got falsies on. Just Lancome Grandiose because it's literally that good. I also have the Fenty Gloss Bomb. So let us get into this makeup and our discussion on 
body confidence. I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit so I don't get it on my beanie. But I have several thoughts. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be talking about body confidence if I didn't have several thoughts on it. I'm just gonna use this one today as my primer because sun's out and it's like a two in one. So I don't mind using it um, together. So yeah, body confidence. Um, hmm, my thoughts on it. I think the problem that we have today in terms of body confidence is comparison. We continuously compare what we look like to other people and want to be where they're at, not realizing that when you compare yourself to someone and being like, I want the same exact body that they do and you beat yourself up about having or wanting the same body that they do, you also forget that like they struggle too. There's things that they're insecure about as well. I feel like with body confidence, I feel body confidence definitely comes from feeling comfortable in your body and I feel like for me, it definitely comes in waves. It's not like this thing that like I always have, like I don't really talk a lot, <coughs> excuse me. I don't really talk too much about like struggling with the way that I look or not feeling comfortable in clothing or stuff like that. Cause I definitely do. Like when I go shopping, um, I kind of hate trying on clothes because if a place only goes up to a certain size, like say a size 14, 16, and their 14, 16 doesn't fit me, I get super discouraged. And I also hate shopping for swimsuits because I'm just like, what is, I just need to, I need to be able to see. I can't just. I can't use the viewfinder. Flounder? I can't use the viewfinder. My roommate's leaving now. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it this way. Ooh, mirror is dirty on this. But I feel like with body confidence, it's something that all of us definitely struggle with. Body confidence is a human thing. Like everyone struggles with it. Everyone has good days where they feel great about their body and everyone has bad days where they feel not so great about their body. And there's this girl, not girl, a woman that I follow on Instagram named M Ricketts, I believe. I'll link her down below. She lost a bunch of weight and is like, she's just so real and honest about like comparison and how like we shouldn't do it. And she like lost a bunch of weight as well. But she like posted a photo and let me see if I can find it. Cause it was very, it was very recent on her Instagram that she posted this. She said, we all show the good angles on here on Instagram when the lighting is on point and we're posing. But I think it's about damn time we started showing all other beautiful angles too. I'm not sharing this to make it out like I'm something I'm not, simply to show that we all have bad angles that pair of jeans that's too tight and we all spend far too much time comparing our worst angles to someone else's best. And I feel like that is the issue with body confidence that is so difficult for some people to feel comfortable and like accepting of their own bodies. Cause like at the end of the day, everybody is beautiful. Like different bodies are able to do different things. And sometimes you're able to train your body to do even more difficult things, things that you might not have done before. Like me with my weight loss journey, like I didn't used to be able to do a one minute plank. It was very difficult for me and it was hard. And now I can do a minute to a minute 30. And before I couldn't really jog for like two minutes without feeling without feeling that I'm just gonna like fall over. And now I can maintain that and not feel as out of breath. Like I, I don't feel like <laughs> I'm gonna fall off the treadmill. I feel like, you know, you can definitely train your body to be, you know, what you want it to be. But at the same time, I do still find it challenging on this weight loss journey with the whole body confidence thing of 
looking at people on social media or different forms of media and 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 like comparing my status to them at the end of the day like if i want what someone else has in their body and their looks um and how they kind of carry themselves like physically outwardly there's going to be things of them that they're not showing that i don't want and i feel like that's something that we definitely forget it's just like just because someone is showing the best side of them doesn't mean that they don't have bad sides too, that they don't have struggles just as well. Because if you lose all the weight or if you, you know, all of a sudden become pretty or whatever standard BS that is, there's still always going to be things that you don't like about yourself. And I, and I honestly kind of hate that. Like I hate that there's things about yourself that people are always going to find about themselves that they don't like. And I think that is just like the challenging thing of just we have all these standards of what we think the best and most beautiful thing is. And it's not true. I it's it just it's it just really sucks. I was watching um, an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians because I had never um, watched the show before, but I kept seeing like little snippets on my explore page and I was just like you know I have Hulu I'm gonna just see like what this is all about and um I saw an episode where like Kim got a photo taken of her and it was a bad angle and she got so upset on this vacation that she just honed in on it and was like this photo is like ruining my life basically. Her sisters ended up having to take away her phone and delete like her Instagram and all these other stuff, like um, all these other apps so she wouldn't go and search for it because she went on such a bender about it for like a month. And her sisters were like, you're obsessing over it. Like we all know your body's beautiful. We all know your body's great. But because you saw this imperfection based on a bad angle that paparazzi took, you are obsessing over it and being super insecure about it. And it's just like, the people that we deem the most beautiful are super insecure, like models, like they're super insecure and we think that they're perfect. Like recently with the, the Victoria's Secret show coming out um, a couple months ago, a lot of them, like they have to maintain apparently like a 24 um, inch waist, which is, crazy but it's like the standard apparently of what they're supposed to maintain um I don't know exactly how true that is but they are like pretty they are pretty small so it's not like I don't really believe it um but a lot of them like suffer with anxiety and suffer with depression and they don't like their bodies yet they have to put on this pretty smile and walk on this you know, long runway, get paid millions upon millions of dollars, and they still feel awful about themselves. They still look in the mirror and they're like, I hate what I see. And I'm just like, we think that is a 10. And I'd rather it be what's on the inside is what matters, which I mean, I feel like media is definitely going to a place where we're starting to value what's on the inside, but also understanding that like different bodies should be showcased and different bodies do matter and different bodies are beautiful. And it's nice seeing people who are of various sizes showing that they have stretch, stretch marks and cellulite, they have hyperpigmentation, they have scars, um, they have dimples and, and, and it's just like every body is beautiful every single body is very beautiful and i know men especially struggle with body confidence as well just as much as women and it's and it sucks because i feel like a lot of women kind of take that away from men um with media and it's just like yes women have like a ridiculous standard on themselves but so do men <laughs> so do men and it just it kind of breaks my heart to know that like men also suffer, but no one's really talking about it, you know? Like for men, 
they probably have this standard for themselves just as well. I mean, not probably, it is true. A lot of the times when we see like men's fitness magazines or men's like sexiest man of the year, a lot of times they have abs. They're not super skinny, but they're kind of medium built. They're tall, they're medium built frame, muscular, very fit, dark brown hair or blonde hair, chiseled jawline, um, you know, they can carry you, they like puppies, like all, all this other stuff. And it's just like, that's not, I know every woman does not like abs. Like I've, I've definitely met people who are just like, abs disgust me. Oof, this powder, literally getting everywhere. Just gonna bake. <laughs> I look great. <laughs> I look like I dropped a bag of flour on my face. I'm just like pressing it in. But guys, like I know women don't like, I know there's women that don't find abs attractive and I get that. And it's just, you know, looks at the end of the day are not gonna, what's, they're not gonna determine if someone's a good person we're compatible with you in terms of like relationships. And it sucks cause like, I think body confidence has a lot to do with like the dating culture today. Like people are, all over the world are on Tinder, they're on Bumble, they're on Hinge, they're on Coffee Meets Bagel, Christian Mingle, eHarmony. Like there's so many apps that people can be on to date. And so much of this swiping is just based on looks and how tall you are especially for guys it's just like if you're not over six feet tall i'm not talking to you if you don't have abs i'm not talking to you if you like you know don't like children or all this other stuff like there's so many expectations on guys as well and i feel like that needs to change as well because women do struggle with body confidence with self-love but men struggle just as much, if not even more, because there's this expectation of you should be a provider. If you're not making more, you're weaker. And you know, you shouldn't show emotion. You should, you know, really bottle it up. And it's just like men should be able to cry. Men should be able to have feelings and not be called horrible names because they express their emotions. Similar ways to women. Like the thing is, emotion is a human thing. I feel like it has a lot to play off. Like if you're a guy who looks super macho, you have to maintain that image of just like your hard shell guy. And it's just like, they probably get insecure in their bodies of just like, I can't be soft because I don't look soft. And probably the same as the opposite. It's just like for people who might look soft, for guys, especially if they look soft, they can't be hard and rough and aggressive and you know, super manly. They're not manly enough because they are not a lumberjack and they're not seven feet tall with like abs and they can't carry a tree the size of, you know, Noah's Ark or something. And it's just like, it's honestly, the entire thing is just so ridiculous and so saddening to me that I'm just like, guys, <laughs> guys should know that like, their bodies are great just the way that they are. If you have a beer belly, if you have a flatter stomach, if you are skinnier, if you're on the more heavier side, there's nothing wrong with that because you're handsome either way for, you know, if you're a guy and, and you're beautiful just as well. And it's the same thing for women. You can be handsome, you can be beautiful. Like you're, everybody is beautiful. And it's just, it's so hard because media definitely plays into this role of just really messing with people's minds of just like, this is the standard we have on our magazine and we expect everyone to meet that standard or, you know, just like, you should look like this. And it's just, when you see the same image, you start to think, if I don't look like that, I'm not good enough. And that is not the truth because Definitely like everyone can work on themselves to be a better person. That doesn't mean outward appearance to me. That means like in terms of like your character, like you can definitely be a better person. I definitely did not blend out <laughs> as good as I thought I was. Okay, that's a lot better. Cause so I saw some things I was just like, girl, you just, you're gonna go out there in these streets not blended. <sighs> Crazy. Oh, I did get it on my... 
Well, it's gonna happen sooner or later. Gotta get over it. Um, sorry, I don't mean to block ya as I try to burn my face. It's just so interesting that like, you don't hear a lot of guys talking about body confidence and like how they also struggle with it. And it's definitely a, a human issue. I struggle with it too. Like put these things in your head of just being like, I need to be this size. I need to be in single digits for my body. And it's just like, you begin to get obsessive and it sucks. It saddens me like that comparison is what causes like all this issue. And it's, I mean, it's definitely internal, but it's also a standard that we've seen every day. And I feel like the more that we see in media, different types of bodies with cellulite, with stretch marks that are real bodies that have imperfections, um, because at the end of the day, they're not imperfections. Everyone has cellulite. Everyone has stretch marks. And I think of myself, I'm just like, why do I hate the fact that I have stretch marks or, you know, cellulite? It shouldn't be a big deal if I have that. Like there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that and it's just like we kind of hone in and we kind of are just like get really nitpicky and are just like we don't like these things so we're we're gonna change it about ourselves we're gonna make ourselves the most perfect thing and then once that section of our life is perfected we go on to the next thing and it's just like we can never be satisfied we have to keep criticizing our own bodies and not realizing that our bodies do so much for us they're like they're such, our bodies are so great. Like different bodies are capable of doing different things. Some bodies are able to run. Some bodies are able to walk. Some bodies are able to climb mountains, boulder, skydive. Like there's so many things that different bodies can do. And it's so amazing. And we should be appreciative and thankful for our bodies. And I definitely like, I struggle with this too. I have my moments. I don't, it's not all the time. I would say like, I'm pretty comfortable in my own skin. And I'm thankful for the body that I have. I don't hate my body. I'm definitely proud of the things that my body can do. Granted, um, you know, I do have my days still of just being like, yeah, like I feel awful. I don't like the way that I look. And I struggle sometimes with being like, I don't think I'm beautiful because I don't hold up to the standard of beauty. And it's just like, cause my face is not perfectly symmetrical. My nose is slightly crooked. I have big lips. I have a big butt. I have, you know, back fat. I have cellulite. They're beauty marks at the end of the day. And I should be happy about those, but there's still days where I'm just like, I don't like this. And I think it's okay to have those days where you're just like, this sucks. I'm, I'm not trying to say that body confidence should be this thing that everyone has like 100% of the time because you're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just think the issue with body confidence is that like we get so in our heads about what other people are gonna think and that determines our self-worth and that's not true. It shouldn't matter what Joe, Sally, and John think about my stretch marks, my cellulite, if they point it out because at the end of the day, it's not on me to please every person out there on what my body looks like. I have to accept my body myself and I have to love my body for myself and I have to love me for myself. And I think that is where the win kind of comes for body confidence. We can't go out into the world and expect everyone to look at our body and be like, oh, it's amazing. But at the end of the day, it really shouldn't matter. Their opinion of what you look like and who you are shouldn't be determined by them. Those things at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter what other people think. It's like, you have to do you. You have to be accepting and loving of your own body because if you're not, you never will, you know? And you'll always be upset and want to do like you'll want to compare yourself to other people and it's just like you have to get out of that mindset and i'm also speaking for myself i'm not trying to just preach to the choir um i believe this for myself as well you have to accept your body and love yourself and understand that like everyone else's opinions of what you look like doesn't matter there are going to be people in the world who will reject you for what you look like or you know being like you don't meet this standard of 
you know, what we deem beauty, beautiful or handsome or sexy or whatever the title is. And it's just like, okay, that's your opinion. That ain't mine. I don't need to live my life by that. Um, and this speaks to both men and women because I know men just as much as women deal with this especially when it comes to dating that I've seen of just like so many women are just like yeah if a guy says he's not six feet tall I will not talk to him and I'm just like it's just an inch or two like difference between you and this guy like you're five seven he's five eight and you're just like he's too short for me and I've definitely fallen into that where I'm just like I don't know if I could date a guy who's shorter than me but at the end of the day like it shouldn't matter it really it like it shouldn't matter and it doesn't matter if a guy is the same height as me because like if he is such a great guy his height is not going to determine whether he's attractive or not and it's just all these weird little standards and you know guidelines or expectations that we have for people of people are just ridiculous and i'm just like it should be about what matters on the inside but so much of it is just like we're promoting and feeding into this culture of like the outside better be in check and it's just so so sad to me i'm just like it really shouldn't matter but we have like these ridiculous expectations i don't think it should really matter if, what someone looks like if they're a good person you know like if you're a good person it shouldn't matter if you are not a certain height, if you don't have a certain physique. It should matter what's on the inside, but also, you know, you should love yourself and love what your body can do for you and what is capable of doing. Because bodies are great. Like, everybody's is, is wonderful. It's beautiful. And I'm definitely not an expert. I know, like, there's plenty of things that I'm not touching on and hitting on in this video, and it is what it is, but... At the end of the day, I just hope the one thing that everyone takes away from this is that everybody should love themselves and appreciate their bodies for what it can do for them instead of worrying about what other people expect their bodies to look like or do. Because I think that's where the insecurity lies is like comparison and also what if they don't like me? What if they don't like what I look like? What if they don't find me attractive? And it's just like, if they don't, it's not going to be the end of the world. It may feel like it for a moment, but truly you will move on. You will survive that and you will get past it. And it sucks that it happens, but at the same time, like, that speaks on them more than it speaks on you if they don't like what you look like. I just, body confidence is definitely an issue I feel like that everyone deals with, everyone struggles with but it really should just be about loving and accepting yourself. And I know I'm repeating myself and I apologize for that, but it's just like, you gotta, I, I hope that you understand and I hope you get it. It shouldn't be about like what someone else, their, someone else's standards shouldn't determine how you feel about yourself. Personally, that's what I believe and that's what I feel is the truth. It's just like someone else's standards should not affect the way that you view yourself. I hate the standards that magazines and media have put on us but i do like the direction that media is starting to go towards of we're showing plus size models and realizing that it really shouldn't be plus size models because anything apparently above a size six is like plus size which the average american woman is a size 12 to 14 apparently making me average <laughs> I'm size 14 but I'm considered plus size and it's just like on average I am what I see walking out every day and I love you know brands like um like Fenty they're showing all different races all different body sizes everyone is the standard of beauty just finished the eyeliner my ink my tattoo liner just ran out and Kat Von D came out with Dagger and I've had this for a while but I was like, I'm not gonna open it until this is all gone. And it's dried out finally. <laughs> so I was able to use it and girl, it's precise. And it's black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mama is feeling good. I'm gonna put on my Fenty lip gloss. Sorry if I'm looking in the 
viewfinder too much and not really at you. I apologize. Still getting used to filming and looking into the lens. I really like this lip gloss because it smells like watermelon. It smells so good. Mmm. She's looking cute or whatever. In the words of <laughs> Bretman Rock. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video and subscribe. would love to have you back um, so you can be notified of any time I upload. Um, and yeah, comment below any of your favorite beauty products that you can't live without. I would love, love, love to know. I definitely want to make this like a series of doing like a get ready with me and then like a rambly chit chat video with like a topic. So yeah, if you like that, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, hopefully you like the format of me kind of just like talking about the products that I'm going to use beforehand and kind of showing on my face. I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And thanks so much for, you know, spending some time with me <laughs> and uh, getting ready with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey, girl. See these eyelashes? And you can see I'm a nostril. <laughs> so weird.